Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Right, we'll leave all of that going on over there. So I've got now camera views on here. I've got that camera view or I've got that camera view, which I can't move at all. That lifts up and down. That camera view is actually going to be rather difficult to do anything with. So I'm going to use this one over here. Uh, bring you over there. What have I got for twisting? Right, I've got the button. I'm just remembering how to use my joystick for a crane arm. Because I haven't actually used a crane arm on the joystick. Oh, I see why this one's so cheap. The other one at 59,000, the reason that that one is a deal more expensive than this one is because it has... Wait, is that as low as it can go? That's as low as that can go as well. Right, this one is officially useless. Yeah, the reason that this one is so cheap is it doesn't have an extension. That's as low as it can drop there. Ah, there we go. You just need to be able to bend it ever so slightly. And then we can grab that. And then we can try and lift it a bit. And we want to bring it back around this way. So that I can clean that branch off what I need to be able to do. You know what? I'm thinking that this crane arm is going to just really, really horribly irritate me in every way possible, mainly because it doesn't have that extension on it. Um, it's a nice entry level, I suppose, but yeah, it's, it's something... <laughs> this is just going to really irritate me trying to use this thing. Um... So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should consider right from the start, right from the get-go. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna chop that down through there. We need it to be shorter. Um, I, I'm thinking maybe right from the get-go we, I, I can't cut that at all because that's just saying it's landed. Oh no, I, I was able to cut that bit, and I can cut that surprisingly. Right. Well, that's helped a little bit. Now, what about you? Can I pick you up? I can't pick that one up. All right, let's try going back onto here then. And am I going to even be able to pick some of these up? Like, I'm, I'm seriously wondering whether I'm, I've, I've even got the strength in this machine to, to pick all, to pick any of these up. Like, if I go there a minute and I grab hold of that. Oh, maybe. Maybe we can do this. It's holding it. I got a nearly full grain tank. Coming down that... Yeah, we're, 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 we're just going to leave that. Right. And lift you up like that. Swing you around that way. There. And then... Twist you. That is... Right, well, I'm all right there for putting that one in there. I'm going to bring it up to the front like that, and then we want to... Nope, release. There, okay. I've done the thing. I've done the thing. I actually managed to get that loaded up. I'm not impressed with this Anderson Group machine, no. I'm, I'm not impressed at all. The lack of extension on it is definitely going to make it difficult. Um, and it also means that, like, that particular log right there we are being just a teensy little bit ambitious I think trying to pick that one up I don't think that that is gonna be a thing to be able to pick that one up it is it's just not gonna work I mean look at that I think I think we're setting our sights a little bit too high for picking that up it's, it's just not going to work I'm squeezing it now as tight as I can and no, that is that is just not going to have it, is it? So we're going to have to cut that one in half to be able to make that work. 
Before I do that, let's go and just empty out the combine again. I'll run up here. Uh, and I'll fill up the back trailer. There. Right. Take off as much grain as we can get from the combine. I'll empty, I'll empty it out completely this time. And then we can just let the combine run again. Or at least for a minute. Because I don't need to empty it out completely. If I... You know, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. 40% there. 38, 37. Yeah. If I leave it like that, I think it will stop so that I don't have to be parked in the crop to unload it. Which I'm thinking would be a better thing. Uh, right, back over to you. We need to climb off. And this time... Right, that log there I can pick up. That I can pick up myself. Which means I can bring it over here. And I can bring that right in. Put it onto the trailer there. I uh, don't have access to the land. I've got access sort of up there. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cut that quite short. Oh, that's just lost the end of it. Well, that's this fairly worthless piece of timber anyway. Right. This one here, I'm going to have to cut this. In order to be able to even attempt to pick this one up, we're going to have to cut that right in half. Like that there. Okay. And then we can jump back onto here. Now we we're gonna do we're gonna do the one we're gonna do the one tree. We are we are gonna try this one out with one tree. I'm gonna give this give this machine a fair shot. You know, this is an entry level machine, so we we can't expect great things from an entry level machine. It's only twenty thousand. The other one is fifty thousand. There's there's a reason for that. There is a reason that the other one is so much more valuable than this one. And it would be because the other one's actually able to pick branches and logs up, whereas this one doesn't seem to be able to pick anything up at all. This one is absolutely useless. It will not grab hold of those branches at all. Uh, it, it, it literally will not pick that up at all. Alright, so let's, let's try and pick up the next one. I'm still also getting used to the controls. That probably doesn't help. Although I didn't think I was doing too bad, really. Uh, let's go like that, and then pick that one up there. Bring it over very quickly. Oops. No, no. Over this way, there. I haven't got a chance of being able to pick that up. I, I, how am I going to get that other one on here? Like, this one didn't work. It was only pure dumb luck that it stayed gripping hold of it just long enough to get it in here wasn't it that that was absolutely pure dumb luck that got that thing in there um and even now it's it's not sort of held very well let's bring you out this way a little bit i wonder if i can maybe drag it round a bit would that work uh, bring you over here we rotate you round a bit and then oh uh, i'm gonna bring you there um the camera angle I'm looking at this with is not making this easy. And then we close it. And then I want to lift it slightly like that. And then drag it round. Again, it's just not liking this at all, is it? it it's really, really not liking this at all. Um, my poor use of the crane... I'm, I'm quite happy to admit that my poor use of the crane is directly contributing towards the overall bad experience of this operational procedure that we've got going on here. Right? This, this is as much my fault as it is the cranes. I'm, I'm sure of it. But I don't think the blame can all be placed on me. Because look at that. It's... it's I don't know. Can can I do this fast enough to get that one up and over? Like, if I can grab it there. Over, over, and down. I can! Right! <laughs> okay. We've, we've made a little bit of progress. <laughs> I've got that much of a tree lifted up. 
It's not great, but we have at least managed to get some of it into the machine there. I've got that branch over there that I can't do anything with. This one I can't pick up. And that one I can't pick up. This one here... I was going to say, um, th th there's no way I can't pick that one up. But it's getting them to even stay on the thing now. Uh, how am I supposed to get them to stay in there? They, they, they really don't want to. This one back here. i got a branch over here. That one I should be able to pick up. Yep. Right. Bring you over this way a bit. Probably if I slowed down with my running around, that would be... You know, I, we're not doing this again. We, we are not doing this again. This, this is just going to take forever and a year and it's the sort of thing that is I, I've got access to this land this is my land I own this land really doesn't like that though does it this is something that bugs me about this game with the trees right it won't go to the higher branch it always takes the, the, the bottom branch right it, it doesn't want me to cut it anyway right Okay, now the, the leaves seem to have gone. I somehow managed to clean those up. How am I supposed to get anything else on here without causing a major disaster? I mean, I, I think I can get that one over there. If we bring you round here and lower that one down there. Open. Twisty Mahuda like that. Oops. Bring it back that way a bit. And then down. Back that way a bit more. And it's chucking the branches off over there, which is less than helpful. Right, oh, you've got to be all the way over here. I was a little bit out with my guess of where I was grabbing hold of that thing. Um, if I want to be able to put this anywhere, like, even remotely, even on the weight distribution, we want to be more over this way. Now, try and grab that one. Bring you up like that. I'll rotate it there, and then we will swing that round. Yeah, like this. Okay. So, the, the other branches are very, very rapidly working their way out of... The, the, the grip on here which is not very helpful and again neither is my crane work alright it's, it's just sliding right off the whole thing now let go I'm just going to have to do it like that that branch hanging off the side <laughs> this is so terrible this is so appallingly bad. Like, sit down. Stop. Right. Uh, now, I'm com I'm, st I'm stuck on the. D uh, uh. Right. This is why I don't use those things because they just really irritate me. That's why I don't like them. Like you, you, you spend so much time lining them up and getting them just right, and then it just doesn't work anyway. Right, the, the whole thing, everything about it is just designed to fail right from the start. Okay, I'm going to take a breather and we're just going to unload this combine right here. I'm going to just leave that one like that. He won't start up until the other bit is finished. Okay, so we're, we're over here now. Right, we're over here. We're going to move you off out the way. Breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. It's okay. We can do this. So we want to put that one up on there. Like that. And then I want to get back onto here. I don't care about the other branches. We will come back and we will get those with something else. We're going to try and grab that one, though. Because it is... This is the other thing I absolutely despise about. Like, I can't see what this crane arm is doing because the camera views it's got are absolutely appallingly bad. I can't even reach to the bottom end of my trailer with this particular crane, which again is 
appallingly bad. Like, I, I cannot bring it down any lower than that. Oh, now I can. That might be my crane operation skills rather than the actual crane, admittedly, once again. Um, let's pick that up and bring it back up this way there and then put the straps on. Right, we're going to leave it like that. We're not going to do anything more. I'm not going to change this now. I've had enough of this thing. I don't like it. I've, I've done my best, I think, with loading it up. We've got a couple of little extra bits. I'm not going to try and get any more on here. We're going to take this. I'm going to leave the stump grinder behind. Actually, I'm just going to put that one there. And we're going to get a different stump grinder. That's what we're going to do for the future. So I want to jump into this one. We'll take this stump grinder that we've got and we will place it over on this side. So I want to do that. I'll lower that stump grinder down there and unhitch it. This we've got to drive all the way down to the port to be able to unload it. So we've got a fair trek to be able to unload the timber. This is why this thing only cost us 20,000 euros. Because it's rubbish. Um, it's just cheap rubbish. So, if you're doing things on a small scale and you only have like four trees that you'd ever want to move, then no, it's not rubbish. It, it would actually be perfectly suited. But we're going to be wanting to move quite a few trees over time. And I'm not the biggest fan of doing um, trees like this anyway. I've never been the biggest fan of trying to wrestle with these cranes and stuff, so I'm kind of thinking that I will do this. We will do it once, just so as we can see it in action. We get all the way down to the port again. We've got another long journey, but then what we're going to do is we're going to take it back to the shop and we're going to sell this crane. And I think we will buy the Brux Chipper. That Brux Chipper, is, is it the Brux Chipper, the, the big daddy Brux Chipper thingy-majiggy? Um, pretty sure, though, the one I've got with the additional stump grinder and saw thing, I, I think they're... I don't know if that's the one that I want to be using or not. Because one of them was like the whole thing was a combo. It was all done in together. But I don't think... Uh, I, I, I'll do it without actually getting the stump grinder attachment. Because the stump grinder attachment is not as good as the stump grinder attachment that I've now got. Which I've gone and modified for my own personal use. That one is a little bit better than the one that we would potentially have for sale. Let's bring you over this way. I love the way the traffic doesn't all go the same way like some of it came uh, one of those cars went on up the road and the other one turned off so you've got cars taking different routes on this map it makes it feel like it's a lot more active it does it, it, that's a really really good thing with this map I really like that I like the routes that the cars taking um, they're not all exactly the same so a car goes to a junction you're not guaranteed to know there's you, you you don't know you got absolutely no guarantee of which way that car is going to go it may it, it could go any direction at all right we'll bring you to there and then we'll come over to here and we will sell there <laughs> oh five thousand euros seriously five thousand euros for just that I'm on the wrong I'm on the wrong vehicle. I want to be on that one. That's insane. I'm tempted to go and get the other crane for that kind of money. I mean, how much do wood chips sell sell for? Because we can wood chip up the stuff. Let's have a look over here. Wood chips are two hundred and sixty seven per thousand litres. I didn't pay attention to the wood chips, but five grand That's no small amount of money that 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 is no small amount of money at all um maybe we should try and use the other crane arm we try yeah i'm thinking that maybe we could maybe i could 
Well, I will give it a go. We, we, we will just try it. I will try it here. I'm going to get this one back up to the shop. And we're going to sell this one. That easily gives, because I think it's 59,000 for the other crane arm. And the other one has got a, a stronger grip on it anyway. Maybe it would be worth actually giving this a go. And plus the longer reach on it, it, it's certainly a lot easier with the longer reach on them. I mean, yes, it's difficult loading the trailers with the timber the way it is. Um, like with, with all the, the, the bendy bits in it, that does make it more difficult to load up the, the trailers. There's no denying that. But I mean, seriously, did you see uh, $5,000 just for that? And I didn't even get the whole tree on. There were some other bits of the tree left. So even if we said 5,000 per tree, I've got like six trees that I wanted to remove around the edge. There's 30 grand. That's going to go a long way towards being able to buy our next field. It's just that we've got to, it's the time that it takes to get those trees. Ooh, maybe we could go with option two here. There is another way. There is another way that we might be able to do this, although that technically would require a wheel loader. Now, I didn't really want to lease any machinery for this series because leasing wasn't a thing in FS13. But, as many people said, I should be taking advantage of some of the new things that we've got to sort of have the new mixed with the old. Like, I I'm not just doing this series... I need to change that one there. Right, we want to unhitch that. I'm not just doing a series to um, completely reenact everything 100% that happened in FS13. Right, 16707. If I repair that for $5, 16713. Tiny little bit more, but anyway, there. Uh, sell that vehicle. So we've got 16000 back. Right, now, go into the shop. We go to telehandlers here. It's not in tele... Oh, no, it's not in telehandlers, is it? It's... I think it's in forestry equipment. Go into here. I don't have it. Okay. Wheel loaders. Ah, right. There. Log fork duo XLW. Is it in front loaders? It is. The log fork duo. Right, I can have this on the front loader, which means that I can use my tractor with my front loader that I got rid of. And I can use this one right here. And this is this is the beast. This is absolutely wonderful because this one has straps on it. So if I was to have that one, then I want to look into forestry and I want a trailer. I don't need to go and spend 54, 54,000. I don't need to go and spend that kind of money on it. I can have something a little bit cheaper. Now, I could get that one, but I can't lift the timber high enough to get it over the top of the spikes on that one. I suspect it would be the same with that bio belt right there. Uh, this one, the wood container would be great, but I need an IT runner trailer to be able to pick that one up. So again, not necessarily going to be particularly suitable. This one would be best... If I could load it, but I can't get the thing, I can't like lift high enough to be able to put on there. This one has got wood configuration and bales as well, which I didn't realize um, for quite a long time after starting to play the game. And apparently that was in FS17 as well, someone said. I, I do not remember that being in FS17. Now, bale technology, we've got some flat trailers in here. Well, at least I thought we did. I've got, well, I've, I've, I've got these there. We've, we've, so we've got a couple of flat trailers right there. I'd be able to put some timber on that one. Um, but I haven't got any sides on it. Uh, but like we just seen, we do have these. So that one there, square bale's big. Um, B square bale's, square bale's big. So what's the difference between the two? That one is there. I like the sides on this. Extension, standard, skid... Oh, I see, right. That's extension. It's because it's got auto-load. It's got auto-load for the bales. Oh! 
Right, the framework is the auto load section. That takes 24 square bales, and then you've got square bales big over here. It takes 16 bales. I think that's for, like, Heston bales. Get rid of that. But, yeah, I, I kind of like having this framework on it. Right? That should allow us, in theory, to put more bales on there. Now, the auto load bit is the bit that we want, is that framework on there. So, let's... We'll try it with one of these. We'll, we'll try that one right there. I'm going to buy you. Extension is standard. I don't want to change that. Wheel setup, communal, standard, wide tires, narrows. Those are very small. Let's go with standard wheels. Decal, red. I'm not going to change anything else. Okay, buy that bad boy right there. Excellent. So I don't need to lease anything at the moment. And then we go into front loaders and we get the front loader that we bought and then sold. And now we're going to buy it again. Okay, back, and then we can go all the way down to the end here, and I want the smaller of the log forks. I'm not going to be able to cope with the big one on this um, front loader. There, like that. Right. There is our new toy. So we've got that auto load trailer there. That is auto load for bales rather than anything else, so it's, it's not something that we need to worry about here. Now, is that front loader the right one for this tractor? It does indeed look like that is a good fit. Excellent. Right, that is fantastic. And then that log fork right there, that is also the correct size for it. Put that one on there. Okay. So we've got tilts and lean back that way. Uh, there, that one opens up. And now I want to show you the bit that really counts is that. Yeah. It's the straps. That's the bit that makes this one. It absolutely makes this one 100%. So we can load the branches up using the front loader. We can stick them into this big trailer right here. And we should be able to get a couple of trees loaded on here. This bypasses the need for me to use one of those crane arms. Which I think are going to be a lot slower than trying to use this thing anyway. So let's get back up to the farm. And we'll see what we can do with this. Right. This one is back here at the yard. And I'm going to skip over to this one. Take a little bit off of that combine. We're not going to be able to put everything into these trailers. So what I'm going to have to do is just unload a little bit into the trailers. Then let the combine finish out while I... Go and empty out these trailers and then come back and get the last little bit. We will then be able to get started on the trees over there. And I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take. But uh, it, it, well, it, it'll take as long as it takes. However long it takes is however long it takes. I'm not too concerned by how long it takes. That should be enough removed from the combine to actually finish all of this. But I'm going to let the trailer fill up. Um... Are we going to actually get all of it into... Oh, no. That's it. Right. And there's a little bit would go into the back trailer if I'd let it, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. So I got 1,300 litres left on board the combine, and that is climbing. So, yes, I do want to go and empty this one. As soon as we've emptied this, we'll get started with the tree. And we want to we want to remove trees up all the way through. And I've got it on dollars at the moment, which it shouldn't be. I have... I think we've relived enough glory days just for a moment. We're going to take a breather. We're going to have a little bite to eat. And then we can get back to it nice and refreshed and relive a few more glory days. There should be some names coming up right now that you can have a look at. It's names of people who are in the Great Book of Names. People who have supported this channel. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.